All right, I'm here today and I'm doing a little experiment with the RV. I want to see if this Harbor Freight 2000 watt power inverter connected to the electrical system of the RV is enough to power the air conditioner on the RV. Now in theory, 2000 watts continuous with 4000 watts peak should be plenty to run a 15,000 BTU air conditioner and the RV only has a 13,500 BTU air conditioner so it should work but there's a lot of mixed reviews on this power inverter and if it actually puts out the amount of power that it says it will so I purchased the 300 amp inverter cable set from Harbor Freight also so there's no excuse for it not to be getting enough power. So I'm going to go ahead and hook this up and see what happens. Alright, so I've got the inverter hooked directly to the positive and negative terminals on the battery. To the inverter. And when this RV is running, there's a automatic solenoid that connects the battery up here to the battery in the body of the uh, RV in the back. So we'll have two batteries and the high output alternator that runs when this is on. To power this, I'll stick in my uh, 20 to 30 amp converter outlet and then we'll plug the RV in right here. All right, set it down on the ground. I've got my shore power line from the RV plugged into the power inverter. Let me go ahead and flip it on. You can see that we are on AC power because the microwave's on. First, let's just try turning on the fan for the AC. Alright, the fan is kicked on. So far, no problem. Now let's try to kick the compressor on. Nope, couldn't do it. So as you can see, it's not gonna let that happen. All right, we'll try it with the, uh, the van running this time. Let's go ahead and kick the AC on. Still can't do it. All right, so there it is. The Sentec Harbor Freight 2000 watt inverter is a piece of crap.